So, uh, again, hopefully with this fraction stuff, you guys just remember with fractions, we never actually divide fractions. We only multiply them. So if you had something like two-thirds divided by four-fifths, right, you would reciprocate this term, the four-fifths to be five-fourths. But in the process of doing that, we changed the division to multiplication. So now we got two-thirds times five-fourths, which is just regular fraction multiplication. Two times five over three times four, which would be 10 twelfths, which you would then simplify. It's gonna work the same way with polynomials. Like we've been doing, just reciprocate that second term and then go from there, just like we did on those last couple problems. All right, so here's one of those problems. Uh, this is division of two of these rational expressions where we have polynomials in the numerator and denominator. So the first thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to change this division problem into a multiplication problem. Now, again, it doesn't affect our first fraction, so I still have x squared minus 4 over 3x plus 6. But I'm going to change this into multiplication by reciprocating the numerator and denominator. So now I've got x squared plus 4x plus 4. And in the denominator, I got 2x squared minus 8x plus 8. So once again, I would just make this one big fraction. Where I know I'm going to multiply the two numerators. You gotta change your eight. And the did I? Oh, it's a plus eight. Thank you. Plus eight. Make sure you copy these down right, because that would have caused huge problems for me in the future of this problem. Well, uh, once again, we're just going to focus on these one at a time. So. First one I'm going to focus on is this x squared minus 4. So I guess I can do it over here. x squared minus 4. That's the difference of two perfect squares. So this is going to give me x minus 2 and x plus 2. So I can write these out. x minus 2 and x plus 2. And this one I will do in red is we got this x squared plus 4x plus 4. Two factors of 4 that would add up to 4, 2 and 2. So that gives me an x plus 2 and an x plus 2. Now, I, I'm not writing that in exponential form, what I haven't read there, because I could write x plus 2 squared, but I'm going to keep it factored out or in, the, in, in its expanded form just so I can see if anything can cancel from there. Well, would it be x plus 2 cubed, though? There's... All right, in the denominator here, I'm going to do 3x plus 6 in purple. So I got a 3x plus 6. I can factor out a 3 from both of those terms, leaving me with x plus 2. So that gives me 3 and an x plus 2. Now, if you can, some of you can see that you can start canceling out terms right now. Um, if you can keep that organized, that's fine. Just be careful. A lot of students have been known to get stuff mixed up with what they're canceling and what, what's not canceled on this. So if you do that, do it. Just be very careful. All right, then I'm going to do this last part here in blue. So I got a 2x squared minus 8x plus 8. And I see I can factor right away from all three terms, a 2, which leaves me with an x squared minus 4x plus 4. And that would be two factors of 4, which are negative 2 and negative 2 that add up to negative 4. So I, I would have 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 2. And I'm going to leave this in its expanded form once again, just so I can see what can be canceled out. So this is multiplied by 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 2. All right, so hopefully that's a little bit more helpful now that I got rid of all that garbage. 
Uh, and yes, we do want to combine the 3 and the 2 in the denominator. This 3 and 2. Uh, we could use the commutative property of multiplication, but since there was so much writing, I'm going to skip it. Uh, so in the denominator, I've got that 6. And also at this point, we can lo start looking at stuff that we want to cancel out. So I got an x minus 2 that will cancel out with one of these x minus 2s. Then I've got this x plus 2, which will cancel out this x plus 2. Now these two in red are both x plus 2s. This is an x minus 2, so they will not cancel out, even if I took out a negative from one of them. All right. So in the denominator, I still had that x minus 2. And in the numerator, I'm going to write this in exponential form. So I've got the x plus 2, but I had two of them, so I have that squared. So this would be f of x equals this stuff. If we looked at restrictions on the domain for this one, we would want to look at what, what I have in purple, because that was the 3x plus 6. And that just shows us that, let me give myself some more space, that x uh, plus 2 can't equal 0. So x definitely can't equal negative 2. Uh, and that takes care of what we had factored out in the red here. Um, on the other hand, we need to look at what what we had in blue. And that was 2x minus 2s. These can't equal 0. So x also cannot equal 2. And to me, that looks like the only two restrictions that we would have.